All right, greetings YouTube neighbors. I'm uh, doing some beaver damage cleanup. So you'll see up over, I'm trying to get my finger in the right spot right there. A bunch of beaver damage to the property. Probably took out, you know, 10 to 15 trees. So I'm yanking them out. But as you can see, it's really thick scrub in here. And uh, this is where we get to use one of my favorite techniques and it's using the chain to make your grapple even longer. So I'm gonna go out, grab it, and you'll see me hook up. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but uh, I didn't uh, bring the tractor close enough, so I got to scoot a little further ahead than I thought I needed. So now I'm going to make sure I go far enough and go hook up. My uh, 12 foot logging chain definitely would have been helpful to have my 20 foot. So I'm going to put it all the way in low and part of the trick is picking up the tree just a tiny bit so that uh, the main log doesn't catch anything as you're trying to drag. And you want the force going straight backwards, not up, not doing any funny business where it's trying to tilt you. So it's going, but I got a tree kind of bound, binding me up. Maybe it would have been better if I chainsaw that down. I got to pick it up again so it doesn't uh, dig into the earth. It's not that I care about it's digging, it's that it's making it harder for the tractor to pull. I'm trying to make this uh, a non-dangerous situation. So it's coming out pretty nicely. We've probably cleared the hard part. Um, I do have the tiller on, which is giving me a lot of ballast as I uh, back this thing up, making sure my back tires still have enough traction. And I just want to get it most of the way out, so that way that I know the grapple can get where it needs to get. And then I'm going to pick it up and uh, throw it in my pile over here. So I think that's about good. I like where that is. I'm going to go forward. Actually, I'm going to go forward just a little bit. Take some of the, give it some slack and go unbind it. I got a bunch more to do. So I'm gonna shut good. I don't know if I did something to my door. <laughs> there it went. Sometimes the door on this thing is a little funky. Now I can put it in a little bit higher gear. It's hard to see on the ground right now. It's 
know, in Minnesota, it's doing this process of freezing every night and thawing every day, so the ground is kind of half froze. Um, it doesn't really make it that difficult to work in, but it does give you a lot of slop on top. One of the tricks is the base lays a lot more than the rest of the tree, so making sure you grab it in the right spot. And we're cooking. So here's the rest of the tree now. I got it all the way free. You'll see I got a lot of it sitting over here. And you know, definitely one of the nice things about this machine is that you just don't feel the weight. Once you grab it and you pick it up, it uh, cruises really nicely. It's not straining. You don't hear the hydraulics whining to, to hold this thing up. It'll just pick up the whole tree and move it. And you can see I already did some work over here. Um, so I'm just trying to line them up. I'll cut them into like 12 foot lengths and then I'll drive them right to the wood boiler pad where I usually keep all my firewood. And then I'll saw them up so they're small enough to get in the boiler. But the big point is right now to get all the scraps off the trail. Um, you'll see here, I mean, this machine does really good when it comes to heavy work like this because I just effortlessly knuckled that tree right where I wanted it. And uh, yeah, that went good. So now we're off to the second one. And just because where this one is, I gotta do a little bit of bulldozing. Make sure I can get where I need to with the tractor. That should be close enough. But I think this one I'll be able to chain up two of them at once. So we'll see how I do. hooked up I didn't make the same mistake as last time where I didn't drive close enough so I got them I think this one is a little bit smaller but I did get two of them one thing to be aware of wherever you're working where beavers have been oh boy I don't like that I don't like that it's standing up on me oh yeah it's it's gonna end up wrecking a few of these trees here unfortunately Got it out. Um, be aware when you're, whenever you're working where beavers have been, they saw them off like spikes. They'll saw off little trees like spikes out there, and they are the perfect size for tire punching. So just be aware. You know, this tree was a lot bigger than I thought it was. It's still coming across the swamp right now. Unfortunately, it was just a beautiful, healthy tree, and beaver got to it sawed it off really dangerous. I actually was surprised it didn't come down during the winter. Alright, I think that's good enough. So we're going to pop ahead just a little bit, get some tension off. Alright, let's go yank off the chain and we'll go move the rest of it. Plane. Try 
trying not to drive on as best I can. You don't want the tree to get all full of mud. It's bad for the chainsaw. Um, it'll dull your chain really quickly. Just run it through a little bit of mud. That's not fun. I sharpen my chainsaw um, probably actually a little bit more often than every gas tank. Usually every time I know I'm going to use it for more than 20 minutes, I'll try to sharpen it. And right now I'm trying to maneuver the log so I can grab it like I want. Yeah, this one's definitely taller, but it's lighter. So I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get underneath it. This is getting the thumbs. Let's see if I balanced it correctly. There we go. It's kind of balanced. <laughs> All right, so fortunately I am gonna have to drive over it just for a brief second. Oh, and I'm kind of hung up over here. So I'm gonna try to drive away from it. But yeah, I mean, probably about a 40 foot tree. Not overly big, but uh, I mean, picks it up like a piece of cake. You know, I was picking up dirt with it when I was doing it and you just don't even notice. Um, yeah, this is, this is how you log kind of out of a swamp when you're trying to clear up swamp damage. Is get a nice chain, I believe mine is a 3 8 chain, and uh, does a great job. You know, it's not unpleasant to handle, it's not so big, it crushes your fingers when you grab a pile of it. It's uh, just the right size for anything. I know I've pulled the neighbor out with this four-wheeler. Um, I think it's rated to about 5,000 pounds. Don't quote me on that, you're gonna wanna look that up yourself. But, uh, I mean, I've picked up the tiller just straight up. Um, and so that with one, one, not even, you know, double, double mounted to the tiller and it picked it up no problem. So it's, it's definitely nice. It's definitely something, you know, one of those things everybody should have on their tractor. So that's all I got for today. Um, if you like these Mahindra videos, let me know. I'm still kind of experimenting with what I should be doing on YouTube. And I'm looking for feedback because I would like to grow to some degree um, and maybe do this more as a part-time job instead of a hobby. So thank you. Bye.